Good morning, all. Uh, apologies for my broken voice. Okay, too much light. Um, uh, sheer bad luck. I had a bad cough and cold over the last two days, and it's double blunder because the video did not have voice as well. Okay. Uh, uh, however, this is my second time in a row at Beyond, and I must congratulate Samir, NK, Kapil, and the entire 3AI team for organizing another successful 3AI event. Uh, while I'm super duper excited about my presentation taking the stage um, after a superb and a remarkable opening remark from Samir, a uh, couple of keynote sessions, and then a rewriting panel discussion from none other than Pankaj Jai is a daunting task. So let me try and do my best. What I'm intending to cover today is Rakuten secret sauce for GenAI product development, adoption, and implementation at scale. However, before I go into the Rakuten's journey, let me play a quick video about a fictitious organization A. Hi, I am Sam, AI engineer from organization A. Following the launch of ChatGPT, Sam found himself drawn to the idea of developing GenAI agents. Team, I propose we integrate Gen AI agents into our current product lineup. With each passing month, the Gen AI landscape continued to intensify. Management, upon recognizing the oversight, backed Sam's proposal. Sam, along with his team, worked to develop the Gen AI agents. Sadly, the product wasn't at par in terms of implementation and adoption. What factors might be at play here? What potential reasons could there be? Can anyone from the audience correlate to Organization A? Maybe some raise of hand? OK. All right, thank you. Um, we were definitely in a similar situation Q1 of 2023. So what could be some of the potential reasons behind this? The first one is the fear of unknown and a lot of news impacting big organizations, starting with accidental data leakage, hallucination, uh, toxicity, bias, jailbreaking, prompt injection, you name it, and there is a lot more. Uh, while that was happening, uh, this, the news is only one dimension towards this entire spectrum. There's a lot of research uh, which has been presented from McKinsey, um, which talks about the importance and the seriousness of all of these factors associated with Gen AI and LLMs. There's another framework introduced called as OASP, okay, which is introduced by Montreal, and that also speaks that all generative AI products should be secured and observable. Now that's the general story. So what's Rakuten doing? The video did not play, uh, but let me talk a little bit about Rakuten. Rakuten is a Japan-based conglomerate. It operates across 50 plus regions, uh, 70 plus businesses. Rakuten India GCC has been established eight years old. Okay? And Rakuten AI specifically, we are 1,000 plus members across six different geographies. Um, pretty matured from an AI standpoint. So how does our uh, Gen AI journey look like? Now, uh, while we are building our own Japanese LLM models uh, in collaboration with Tokyo University, and we are ranked second according to all Japanese language benchmarks as of today, uh, we already have a very strong partnership with OpenAI, and that's news, public news. Uh, Sam Altman and our CEO, Miki, are pretty close friends, so we have this strong partnership going. Now, um, from our Gen AI uh, landscape standpoint, we have successful use cases from an internal standpoint, business standpoint, as well as customer uh, application standpoint. A couple of examples from an internal standpoint, we are working with Harrison Chase and the founder, uh, he's the founder of uh, uh, Lanchen. We are working using OpenGPT frameworks to create something called as AI for Rakutenians. This is an empowerment of uh, across 40,000 employees at Rakuten so that they can use AI at will. It also has RAG functionalities on top of it. Now, another platform that we have built, for developers, coding is easy. But coding documentation is the most difficult part, and code structuring. So we have this platform called as AI Code Sense. Now, from business use cases, we do a lot of stakeholder interactions and discussions. We continuously discuss. They give us questions, and then we try to understand the intent of those questions, and then create analytics, data sciences, AI solutions for that. Why can't this entire process be automated using Microsoft Teams, where uh, somebody, a business stakeholder, maybe somebody from a planning team or supply chain team or stores comes to uh, Teams and puts in a message, and then he gets the answer. So understanding the intent of a raw question and giving the answer back is the important thing. 
And then uh, we already know um, JNAI helps a lot uh, in creating marketing content. Again, the intent is not to create one marketing content, but can in five minutes we can create 10,000 plus marketing contents and then using augmented intelligence can the human and the AI work together to select the best one. From a customer uh, standpoint, we also have products which are openly used by uh, a lot of our uh, customers, end customers, uh, both from an insurance standpoint as well as securities. Now, while this is happening, and we have been pretty successful in having applications, internal business and customer side, what's the secret sauce behind all of this? So I wanted to take this forum and introduce Gen I, okay? Uh, Gen, AI, uh, Gen I is a real-time protection for your, all your generative AI solutions. Uh, it integrates with any organization security privacy policies with uh, ease, and it's play, uh, plug and play. So we don't need any kind of installations. There are three major components of Gen I. One is security, one is performance, the other one is cost. Now, if we go a little bit more into the details of Gen I, if you look at an user journey on the LLM landscape, okay, a user sends a prompt. When the prompt is sent, this is where our security module gets triggered. Obviously, this is using a lot of traditional machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms. So it can detect prompt injection, toxicity fairness, and can protect your PII as well. From an organization or CISO decision standpoint, you can then decide whether the prompt actually goes to the LLM or not. If the CISO decides that no, this, has, this prompt sent by the user has a high likelihood of, let's say, prompt injection. You can stop it. A MS Teams trigger, uh, triggered message can be sent to you as well. Let's assume that the message was cleaned and it went through the open source LLMs or your own LLMs. Then comes the performance bit, which we call as observability. It can check the accuracy, relevancy, latency, drift, hallucination, all of that, and then come back with the response as well. And finally, a lot of us are actually, while we are developing our own LLMs or SLMs, a lot of us are actually using uh, APIs from the different service providers, so therefore the cost is an important factor that needs to be kept into consideration. Now, what I, while this is a very small introduction of Gen I, and this is the secret sauce for all our success, what I wanted to uh, give to you is if you can take out your mobile phones and do a small scan of this QR code and play around with Gen I, okay? Uh, because it's for demonstration purposes, we have kept a minimum limit of 10 prompts and responses, but you will actually get the real feel of how Gen I works. Please don't send in prompts like, hi, how's the weather today? Try to make it complicated from a security standpoint. As if you are trying to do a prompt injection, jailbreaking, okay, or providing um, toxic uh, biased comments as well. Now, why I am talking about all of this today in today's forum at Beyond? Yes, so obviously knowledge sharing is one bit of it. But uh, while Rakuten India has been, as a GCC, has been in existence for almost like eight years, eight plus years, a uh, couple of years back, we also started our B2B business portfolio called at Sixth Sense, which is a comprehensive security and observability platform. As part of our data, AI, ML, uh, security and observability platform, we are making Gen AI available to enterprise customers as well. So if you are interested, please come and visit us at our booth. We will give you a detailed demo, and then we take it forward from there. Thank you. Thank you. At Rakuten, we embrace the Gen AI technologies at lightning speed all while prioritizing security and safety of businesses. As the world catches up, we lead the way in making new age technology work for everyone.